Now that it's getting colder out, we are all spending more time indoors, of course, and that's riskier when it comes to contracting COVID-19. Channel 3's Caitlin Nuclo talks with the expert about how to keep your home as clean as possible in this week's Wellness Wednesday report. The pandemic has made for a busy year for AdvantaClean of Wyndham. I mean, we deal with indoor air quality all the time. They can also make sure your home or business is clean. So we come in and try to give them peace of mind doing, you know, high touch point cleanings, um, and we'll even uh, fog the air to get any airborne contaminant and then either vacuum it with a HEPA vacuum when it's settled or use uh, air scrubbers to evacuate the air and get that particulate out of the air. While there are still many things we don't know about the novel coronavirus, health officials say we do know that it spreads more easily inside. Summer McGee, the dean of the School of Health Sciences at University of New Haven, says that is especially true in places with poor ventilation. What we now know is that these protocols are able to circulate um, in the air. They're able to ha hang in the air uh, for, you know, up to hours. And so it isn't just that brief interaction where you're, you know, talking and having a conversation with someone. If someone has COVID-19 and has been in your home or has been in that restaurant or other indoor space, um, there is the potential for those particles to continue to recirculate for a, a period of time. So what can you do as we head into colder weather and we all head inside? As much fresh air as you can get into whatever environment you're in, uh, the better. Uh, cracking a door or a window uh, certainly will help uh, having that air circulating and of course having a good ventilation system. If we're going to use our HVAC system to help increase ventilation, it should be clean. You have a, you should have a good filter. Um, you know, there are you know, very small, very thin filters that you can see through. And then there are other filters like this one we had in a system the other day, large, pleated, it's removing a lot of things. Um, Let's make sure the system is working properly so that you get the best benefit possible. Air purifiers can also help. The EPA says while by itself it is not enough to protect people from COVID-19, purifiers can be used with other best practices to reduce the risk of transmission indoors. So health experts say, remember, anytime you're inside, you should be wearing a mask and keeping your distance. That's your Wellness Wednesday report. I'm Caitlin Nuclo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.